Hi all, this is Max from SamsungEpicHacks.com. So today I'm going to show you how to overclock your Syndicate ROM uh, to 1.3 GHz. This ROM comes with a kernel that can be overclocked to 1.3 GHz. But you'll need to download the uh, set CPU uh, app. You can get it, buy it on the market. Um, you can donate to the developer and help them out. Um, also, you can get it free. I'll have links where you can get it. And uh, once you download that file, um, where did I put it? Once you download the latest version, just download the latest set CPU slash 2.118. That's what I downloaded. And then unzip it. Use your favorite unzipper program, uncompress, same thing. And uh, we're just gonna. Oops. Oh god. What's happening? We're just gonna extract it all. So I'll have the uh, the APK there, and now what you want to do is put your phone into uh, disk mode. So USB connected, connect USB storage. Okay. Okay. All right. And then I'll have a. Oh, there we go. This is my SDK drive. So um, I'm just gonna copy it to the root directory. Just copy it over here, and now I have it in there. Now we go back to our phone. We don't need to turn this on, and uh, use some kind of file manager. If you don't have one, I'll show you how to get it. So let's. Uh, I, don't, I don't think I have a file manager. Do I? Do -do -do. Oh no, I do. This one comes with the file manager. So we have the file manager here. Just go to the SD card and then see where you move the set CPU. That one, click on it. And it's gonna say install blocked for aftermarket, whatever. Go, so go to settings, uh, hit the unknown sources and say yes. Go back and then hit that again. And it'll ask you if you wanna install it. Just install it and then open. And uh, let me adjust the camera again here. Oops. And just click uh, Auto Detect Speeds Recommended. Click that. And then OK. OK. And then you're supposed to hit Allow. I missed that part, so let me see. Hmm. Oh, crap. Did I do it right? Oh, there we go. So now you can set your maximum to uh, 1.3 gigahertz right there as you can see um, and also you can have it put it on demand so it always automatically uh, will go up to 1.3 gigahertz and then you can um, put it on performance but it's gonna drain your battery and then uh, whoops go back to set CPU uh, and you can also set it on boot so it's always running so you can always it's automatically going up to 1.3 gigahertz. 1.3 gigahertz. Right now, it's going one between 1.3 gigahertz and 100 megahertz because when you don't need that much power, it'll automatically scale down. So let me show you. Let's run Linpack. So I was getting like 13 uh, without it overclocked. Let's see what I get with it overclocked. Wow! Look at that. So I've got 17 instead of 13. So that's a definitely about a 20-30% improvement on my uh, CPU of my Samsung Epic 4G. So that's how you uh, you know overclock your phone. It's pretty much pretty safe because it's only doing it you know um, up to 1.3. And I have my G2 phone which does up to 1.5 gigahertz. That one's like pretty much the same processor. Uh, so anyway, that's how you overclock it. You'll need to uh, install this Syndicate ROM or any any aftermarket ROM that supports overclocking. But the method is pretty much the same. Anyway, enjoy your overclocking and don't forget to subscribe to uh, my blog uh, or like us on Facebook because you like us. Look at that. And I can set it to uh, performance. Then it's going to be always at 1300 megahertz. Let me see if that makes any difference with Limpack. Probably won't, because it's automatically scaling earlier. But who knows? 
yeah it's about the same so just set it on for uh, on demand so it doesn't drain your battery but now you've got you know the maximum speed out of your your uh, epic 4g so see you later thanks